All right, uh, I don't know if you could hear me, but hopefully you can hear me now. Um, but yeah, I am jumping into tonight Night Trap, uh, 1992's Night Trap, which is um, not a game I thought I would ever be <laughs> playing on stream. All right, excellent. Um, but you know, it seems like Halloween is the time this, the spookiest of times, is the time to uh, to try out this game that I have only heard about. I've never played it. I don't think I know anybody that's actually played this game. Um, it's a Sega CD game from 1992 uh, and is infamously the game that uh, uh, was brought up in a Senate hearing along with Mortal Kombat uh, as kind of proof as of, of video games being a really, you know, truly terrible new media that was uh, corrupting the youth of America, and it did uh, directly lead to the ESRB existing um, because, uh, you know, the, the Senate hearings and, and kind of the popular opinion at the time being that, uh, you know, games like Night Trap were, uh, again, very kind of unmoralistic and violent and uh, very gratuitous. Um, although I will see if it lives up to that expectation or not. Um, I, I've never even really watched videos of it. I've only seen screenshots. My understanding is it's a very kind of like 80s like horror sleepover movie vibe, but uh, I don't know. And I don't know anything about the gameplay except there's some kind of security cameras. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be... <laughs> decent at it or not, but, you know, continuing our exploration of, of kind of weird games. Uh, so I actually, I read some articles about Yume Nikki. Um, so I'm going to po maybe post them in the discord. Uh, there was a lot to that game. I did not get to <laughs> yesterday. Uh, it turns out it's one of those games. There's a lot of content to, but I would have had to, uh, click through, you know, it's one of those things you can see everything in like 90 minutes if you know where to look, but it probably would have taken me, you know, 20 hours, maybe a bit of an exaggeration to actually find all the stuff in that game. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting though. I'm, I still think it's, interesting. I'm glad I tried it, but we'll see how, um, <laughs> we'll see how I feel about Night Trap. So, um, I'm, I'm a little nervous. I am a little, <laughs> yes, no way to be decent, only indecent at Night Trap. It's the only thing that Night Trap accepts. Um, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> I uh, I doubt it has earned the reputation that uh, that it had in the 90s <laughs> for being a horrible and and uh, corrupting game. But I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> but screaming villains are here to uh, <laughs> to uh... oh, it's a U direct film. So it is it is framed as a film, and I'll, I'll, I might need to move. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, what is up, Profe? Man, that is a really, really good emote. Is that yours? Is that from your channel? I'm gonna move. I might need to move myself a little bit. Uh, wow, these are... <laughs> these are... Uh, I don't know what Survivor in the basement are. I'm just gonna go to Start Game. Because that is presumably... Presumably what I need. Love that little cat, though. And and nice to see you, Profe. Welcome, welcome. Uh, <laughs> so if you're not familiar with FMV games, uh, this was all the rage at a certain time of the late 80s and early 90s when, you know, we, we couldn't imagine graphics as they are today. Uh, and clearly just inserting movies in place of graphics is, is the way to go. Um, so yeah, let me know how the volume is. I think the volume is pretty gonna be pretty essential here. <laughs> Shrunken art assets from the game. That's all good. Hey, Tesla Vision, what is up? Welcome. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> wow, these are some... <laughs> These are some inconveniences this person is putting upon these women. Okay. There's like credits and everything. Oh, FMV is a full 
Full motion video? I think that's right. Correct me if that's not right. What about the cameras and the traps? Probably security. What is acting? We suspect they're using the winery house as a cover, and they're getting anyone who stumbles onto their scheme, whatever that is. Come on. This is Kelly. <laughs> Kid. Hey, that's my name. She's really young. She's young. She's one of our best. She'll also be working inside. And remember, no one goes in until we get the signal from her. I want to know more about these traps. Yeah. That's one thing we've got going for us. How's that? One of our guys put an override on the camera cable unit here in the back hallway. Which means? Which means we have complete control of the cameras and the traps. But who operates that? <laughs> they do. Oh, that's us. Who's that's that? us, fam. I'm not exactly certain. <laughs> Special operators from control. We've got to work together on this. Any questions? That's rock and roll. Be careful out there, huh? Looks that way. Looks that way, Profe. It looks pretty... You. Oh. You keep your eyes open. That's We're me. all depending on you, especially That's Kelly. Me. She should be there. Now, I'll switch you over. <laughs> and good luck. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it seems very fourth wall breaking. Um, oh. These guys are breaking in. Am I just gonna... <laughs> this, uh... <laughs> I... Oh! I... Don't know what I'm supposed to do when I see these guys. I can't interact with them in any way. Okay, so there's. Am I just like watching them do this? <laughs> Why am I just watching these people do this? <laughs> uh, the volume. I'm I'm trying to kind of adjust the volume a little bit, but the volume is not compressed whatsoever. Uh, in this too, game. You know. Oh. You are, these... are a very special boy. What are these birds up to? know that. But you must start doing your job. We all have to do our job. I know. We'll help your cousin with that. Yeah, it's about time. Sorry, it didn't dawn on me. Yeah, it'll yeah, dawn man. on you if you don't get on the ball. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, get cretini. Well, we have to bottle the two downstairs, and Sarah's coming in with six more tonight. Six? I, I don't yeah. have any agency the right now. The problem is, Sheila and I might have to make a delivery. That's no problem. Tony and I can handle it. But out of so possible sure. ten, I've captured to zero. Whoa, 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 what's this? This is a special vintage. Oh, Jeffrey, don't be so selfish. Yeah, Jeffrey. Think of the poor, starving augers. Those animals. They're here. Good. What's the matter with you, anyway? I don't know. Bored, I guess. Bored. Well, that's gonna change pretty soon, huh? <laughs> I mean, we're on our own tonight. So? So? You heard him. We got six. That's gotta be some kind of record. Yeah, well, I don't think you understand, Jeff. I'm not interested in that stuff anymore. Oh, Are these guys the vampires? For vampires, Give me right? My parents. Oh, okay. huh. So these are your lovely new friends from the shopping mall. Welcome to our little getaway. Father. Oh gosh. I want you to meet Cindy. Hi. Ashley. Hi. Megan. Hey. Lisa. Hi. Her little brother Danny. What's up? <laughs> Her little brother Danny. And, oh, and Kelly. Nice to meet you, Mr. Oh, Martin. no, she's Please the one that's going to get murdered. Oh, yeah, that's charming. That's and not. This is my wife, 
She the creepiest uh, energy. Come on, everyone. Let's go in the house. Okay. Oh, good. Right. And then my friend's dad just, like, kissed my hand when I went over to their house. Hey, Sarah. <laughs> Who's that? I know. Bing, That's weird, bing. Eddie. He's just one of the neighbors. He's really cute and down. He really cute and down. down anywhere, girls. This is a beautiful house, Mrs. Martin. Oh, please, just call me Sheila. Oh, my God. You need to leave. Oh, no, 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 no. Not that one. The other one. These adults are touching you all. Another refrigerator. Why is it locked? Danny, we'd all like to thank you very much for letting us come up this weekend. It's very nice of you. Our pleasure, my dear. What's this? Oh, homemade cherry popsicles. Great. We all have our own very special <laughs> cravings around here. <laughs> hey, come on, everyone. Let's go down to the lake. Yes, right, thank you. Right. Take care of oh it. Oh 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 guys, come on. Yeah, oh, oh, hey. so oh, Sarah. Gosh. This would be so much creepier. Visit to the augers tonight. If they the were there, actually. I'm sure you and the boys can take care of everything here. I understand. Good night, Father. Good night, darling. Good night, sir. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, girls. Have fun. Curious little bunch. What's wrong? Well, there's something about Kelly. Hmm. <laughs> woman's intuition again, huh? huh? Oh, Victor, you monster. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We don't want to upset the augers. <laughs> Those weren't cherry popsicles. <laughs> I'm telling you, if, if I did not know this is going in like a supernatural horror <laughs> direction, just these adults being really creepy to these teens is like... Good night, boys. Honestly, so now, much Jeffrey, worse. I want you to go downstairs and change the trap access code from blue to yellow. Don't worry, Mom. It's all in the fingers. Good hunting. All right. Let's go and get everything ready. You really get a kick out of this stuff, don't you? Okay, I don't think I can follow them into the... <laughs> the stairwell secret room. Come on, darling. The augers are waiting. All right. anyone I I have no oh. idea what <laughs> I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing if anyone can parse this oh okay I didn't know I had buttons okay so that's a little bit of progress Okay, so I can put <laughs> I can put colors on scenes and I don't know what that means. I would not be able to figure this game out. Oh, this is my cousin, Tony. That was a banger. Yeah, over in the voyeurism room. 
think someone's taking control of the system. We'll see if you can get it fixed. If not, we'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. That could take all weekend. I got plans. Yeah. I got plans. Come on, everyone. I'll show you to your room. Okay. okay. Lisa, I'm fine. Come on. Wait. Look, what? it was your job to protect Kelly and the rest of those girls. Uh oh. But from what I've just seen, the place is being overrun. You've missed way too many of those suckers. Now, until you figure out how to do your job and do it right, you're dismissed. Breaking time. <laughs> there was no training. I did not know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> do you see that? I just got fired. I just got fired from Night Trap. Okay, this is going to be... I usually try to avoid Googling on stream, uh, but I, I truly, I truly have no idea um, what... I just have no idea what. Uh, let's see. Can I share this? <laughs> um, man, I really just had not considered this as uh, as something <laughs> that could have happened. Okay, let's we'll we'll explore. Let's let's friends. Let's explore the internet together because I truly uh, don't know what I'm supposed to do. And unlike. Unlike in, uh, in in many games where somebody will just pop in and tell me what to do, uh, I don't think we're gonna have that kind of expertise for Night Trap. So let's see. Uh, hey, what is up, Aaron? Uh, yeah, Google a WTF Night Trap. Uh, Rai Fam, this is the controversial game that got Congress all in a huff. Yes, this is a this resulted directly in the Senate hearings uh, that led to the the game industry creating the ESRB. The ESRB, and meanwhile, I. Uh, <laughs> I cannot figure out how to play it. So we're going to go on to the Googles. Yes, happy uh, happy Wednesday. <laughs> uh, those of you that are just joining did miss me actually failing and getting fired from the Night Trap team. So let's see. Night Trap. WTF, no. Night Trap walkthrough. <laughs> Night Trap will never be on Nintendo. So actually, I, I didn't know this until earlier today. Um, Nintendo, during the Senate hearing, said that it would never be <laughs> on a Nintendo system, and I'm actually playing the Switch version. So, you know, the the, the irony, the irony of history of looking at this uh, 25 years later. Um, okay. Let's see. I, I literally just don't know what... I'm supposed to be doing on any level as there are no walkthroughs. Um, shoot. Night trap. How to play. This game is from 1992, I believe. Um, 1992, and I don't know. I, like, this just super did not occur to me that this was going to be my problem, uh, that I cannot figure out. You're trying to catch augers, villainous characters. Okay, I got that. When seeing one of the augers appear in one of their rooms, you must hit a, hit a button to activate a trap door or a swivel wall to take them out. Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, gosh. It's a harsh and punishing game. <laughs> oh my, but what's the deal with like changing the colors and stuff? All of these happen at, exact, at the same time stamp on the playthrough each time, so you can imagine people scribbling the precise seconds down with pencil and paper. Gosh, this is like killing me. Uh, okay, but what is the button? So I just... Clearly. Oh, we did not even get this. Was this game packaged with a manual at some point? Uh, I don't know. Um, why do I have a little OBS? What are you, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Um, let's see if we can find controls in here. Hmm. That will involve exiting to the menu. I'm just going to have to do it. <laughs> I might also Google, let's see. Yeah, you're, we're gonna look at your options. They, I wish they had compressed the audio um, to any degree whatsoever. Okay, so this is what I did not have. We have change room, reverse. I didn't know I could do that with the shoulder buttons. 
We have pause. Okay, so trap is B. I missed. There are two word. <laughs> there are two words in this game title: night and trap. And I did not know how to do <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> okay. Trap is B. Let's see, Rai says, I vaguely remember as a child the controversy over Mortal Kombat, and as an SNES kid, my parents let me play Mortal Kombat 1, but not Mortal Kombat 2, because on SNES, Mortal Kombat 1 didn't have blood. Yeah, they had sweat, right? The, the infamous, infamous Nintendo censorship of, uh, <laughs> of not having Mortal Kombat uh, and, and the more graphic stuff on their systems. And they weren't like Sega with this scandalous, scandalous game. Oh, thank goodness it let me skip all of the intro stuff. Okay, so now I know I'm supposed to be trapping things at night. Oh! Okay, can I trap him? Come on, come on. This is a continue. I thought it was gonna be out again. I'm hitting that trap button, fam. I'm spamming it. Oh gosh, don't go in there! <laughs> I actually don't know how I did that. So that page said when the little red icon is flashing in the lower left, that's an opportunity to be doing some trapping. Okay, these, these, this scene is very trappable. Is that second one just gonna keep walking over it? Oh my gosh, look at how the trap door looks in the floor. <laughs> Still don't really understand how all the rooms are connected. Come on, come on, come on. Both know that. But you must Okay, these people are just talking about nothing. Nothing. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the, the cheer. I feel Sorry. good about it. Oh, it's a lot of these guys. So it's kind of weird because it almost behooves you to like not watch the scenes. Has anybody? Man, I captured two out of a possible ten. Gosh, I'm gonna get kicked out again. Brother, stay here and enjoy. So, you know what I mean? Like, if I sit and watch a scene, I'm gonna miss. Yeah, this is beautiful by the lake. The murder. Look, it looks like a swamp. Hi, Megan. Oh, come on, everyone. I want you to meet my parents. Gosh, I can't watch that scene again. It's so creepy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Get trapped. <laughs> I have to say, it's actually really satisfying. <laughs> Interesting to hear that old congressional hearings, like when the VCR was invented, the concept of taping shows and copyright lawyers lost their minds. Yeah, yeah, every new technology, I think, uh, is gonna have someone saying it's the decline of society. Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, wow. Oh my gosh! Some of these are more violent than others. I really do like how the scene just resets immediately after, no, like it just cuts you. back to the regular room. Oh, look at these Walkmen. 
Look at these. Check out the house. Look at these cool 80s girls. Dang. Will they let me hang out with them? They're so, they're so cool. Ah! We all have our own very special cravings around here. <laughs> hey, come on, everyone. Let's. Yeah, so much of this 80s stuff is popular right now, right? Like late, late 80s, early 90s stuff. A lot of scrunchies. A lot of scrunchies. <laughs> the hair, the hair hasn't come back. Oh no, I just missed him. So where does this one... This one leads into... Where? Here? Ha! Bookshelves. Uh, the music that plays every time is so good, though. Capture 9 out of 25. <laughs> oh, it's the same animation. Or not even animation, it's the same clip every time. Uh, zoomed out to a different level than, uh... Than the scene is set at. Oh no, he's past the bookshelf. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get close to the bookshelf. Get some every time. <laughs> See, also, oh, I so you just gotta kind of know where the traps are in every room. I think is part of it. How was? How did that not get him? Man, I think I, I just missed two, like, split seconds. <laughs> the bassoon hallway. <laughs> you know, you don't have one of those? If you hear that annoying sound effect, it's because I'm spamming the button. So hard. Girl, I don't I don't know what to do with you. But where does the hallway? Oh gosh. Oh, is that one of our, our guys? I think that's one of our guys. Yeah, yeah, you got this. Oh no, he does not got that. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. But I, don't, I still don't know what room you're going into. Okay, so that goes into the bedroom, which goes into the bathroom. That's not the bathroom. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I keep finding this room. Man, that one guy, I, I just lost him, man. He's... Come on, get close to the closet. Get close to the closet. Jason's inside. I said no one in until we got the signal from Kelly. <laughs> back and cover position three. I want him out of that house. Roger. Okay, so they're going, so those guys are going in. Those guys that kicked me off their team last time. Oh my gosh. Plans. Yeah. Come on, everyone. I'll show you to your room. Okay. This is, this is getting close to the point I got kicked off last time, so we'll see if, uh... Look, it was your <laughs> job to protect Kelly and the rest of those girls. <laughs> But from what I've just seen, the place is being overrun. You've missed way too many of those suckers. Now, until you figure out how to do your job and do it right, you're dismissed. Breaking contact. 
how how did how did that how did that site describe this game? It was uh punishing <laughs> Uh, 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 punishing and something. <laughs> Harsh and punishing, a recurring theme of this otherwise simplistic seeming game. Um, hey, Smokin', what is up? This is 1992's uh, Night Trap, which led to the creation of the ESRB because... Uh, the Senate was very upset about this game, along with Mortal Kombat, uh, and it was one of the the leading games in the discussion about censorship and gaming. Uh, and this was, of course, before games got First Amendment protection, um, and video games were going to destroy American society. Okay, so what we're going to do... <laughs> I also could not figure out how to play this game. It is called Night Trap. I could not figure out how to trap anything. We figured that out through a little bit of communal Googling. Uh, and now I have to figure out how to, um, how to actually trap these things. So this is a little cheap, but I think I am gonna look at some timestamps. Don't judge me because <laughs> <laughs> uh, this game is actually very, very hard, and it makes me feel better that, uh, that the internet says it's hard. Okay. So it's, like, down to the second. Like, at, at, at second 13, I have to be on the hall one. At second 27, I have to be in the living rooms. So it's, like, that granular. Oh, my gosh. Okay. John Denver speaking out against uh, music censorship. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. It's an interesting piece of, uh, of history, for sure. Okay, so I got it at 13 seconds. I have to trap them. Wow! And you can only get both if you're literally on that second. That is... That's rough. That is rough, fam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got the bedroom. Uh, man, this is... Okay, so this is impossible. So, I'll, you know, th I'm, I'm trapping all these guys because I'm cheating more than a little bit. Uh, and... Seeing when I have to switch over. How would you do this? I guess people literally were just looking at... Um, looking at, at, like, writing down, like, that's what that article said. People, like, write down timestamps so you know exactly what to do. So you actually have to activate the trap at the exact second. The exact second. Oh! <laughs> I was, I was saying fam as in, uh, F-A-M. Um, referring to you all, but I, I... <laughs> I understand that confusion now. Okay, so at 1.39, the entryway, which is this one. So, oh, I've never caught someone here before. <laughs> um, I have to say, it, it doesn't cease being funny. I can at least say it does not cease being funny. Okay, we can watch these fools do whatever their weird thing is. Oh my gosh. Hey! Did you guys see something moving over there? No, actually, I think it's your match. I should have out the floor. Which one is the entryway? You know, this isn't exactly what I imagined, though. Has anybody seen my ShamWow bag? Which one? You got about a million of them. What did she say? ShamWow bag? You just gotta be glad I brought you along. The only I don't think she said ShamWow bag. <laughs> Mom made you. Shut up! Well, I can tell this is gonna be fun. With the control, we're going in. Oh, I'm with you. I am with you. <laughs> <laughs> so Hi. she's the plant. I'm I like, so they explain this come. plot, but I'm still oh, no somehow figuring it out. Sarah, this is beautiful, by the way. Really? It looks more like a swamp. Hi, Megan. It looks like a swamp. Oh, come on, everyone. I want you to meet my parents. Oh, gosh. I hate this. <laughs> so these so are creepy. Your friends from the shopping mall. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's my favorite. I think that one is my favorite one. <laughs> hey, Lisa. Hi. Her little brother Danny. What's up? I love the little tones. And oh, now I missed him. We'll just have to keep watching oh, this. These stupid people <laughs> dealing stupid things. <laughs> and this is my wife, Sheila. Hi. Come on, everyone. Let's go in the house. Okay. Oh, good. Can you imagine writing down every time you get a trap? Hey, Sarah. Who's that? That's Weird Eddie. He's just one of the neighbors. He's really cute down. He. <laughs> Weird Eddie. Oh no! Oh, Weird Eddie gave me a thumbs up. Okay. Oh, this is so terrible. This guy's really rigged out. Hey, Control, check out the house. Oh, okay. Okay. I do like how they address you. Um, that part is pretty good, honestly. This weekend, it's very nice of you. <laughs> okay, so the the hallway is attached to the bedroom. It's not actually attached to the bathroom somehow, which seems not right, but We're all are all of these fools. In order to win at the game, you have to skip the majority of the scenes where the characters are all introduced. Yeah, that's that's the, like what's nuts about this is I lost twice because I was actually trying to figure out what's happening in the story. Well, there's something about Kelly. Mm. I mean, maybe you're just supposed to enjoy the voyeurism and just want to play it over and over again. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. Hey, nice of you to drop by, Eddie. Oh, and let us know when you want to die, Eddie. <laughs> what? Don't be mean to Weird Eddie. Boo. Boo, mean kids. <laughs> Are they vam are, are they vampires? I think they are. I'm honestly still not clear. <laughs> Nerd. Um, flinging them off of the uh, off of the the roof is also very good, honestly. This is like an unplayable game. Hall two. What have we got in hall two? Something's gonna happen in hall two, according to the internet. Like I feel, I feel like I just don't even know what's happening in the story now because I'm trying to not fail, and I'm only going through this because I don't. I don't want to fail out of it. I would be happy to just not catch anyone and see where it goes, but no. They're gonna kick me off the team if I keep doing it. <laughs> We're so 80s. <laughs> no, I missed them. Oh, shoot. So precise. You literally have to be on the second or it doesn't work. People, I don't know if this is a good game or not. <laughs> I'm beginning to feel like Congress may have been in a bit of a tizzy. Uh, when they, they, they had hearings, or the Senate, the Senate, I keep saying Congress, uh, when, when the Senate may have been in a bit of a tizzy, uh, why is it not trapping them? I'm doing the timestamps, right? I think I'm doing the timestamps, right? Oh my gosh, this game is making me so mad. <laughs> 
Okay. Why is it not working? Hall two upstairs. I had it. I, I had it for a while and I just don't have it now and I don't know why. Okay, so 8.40 in the bedroom. Oh my gosh. Then there's the whole code changing thing that I don't know how I was supposed to pick up on it. Man, I totally have lost. Look, it was your job to protect Kelly and the rest of those girls. But from what I've just seen, the place is being overrun. You've missed way too many of those suckers. Now, until you figure out how to do your job and do it right, you're dismissed. I'm very Breaking angry. Contact. I'm very angry right now. This, this, this game should have been banned for other reasons <laughs> that are related to its unplayability because so far I've not seen anything salacious. <laughs> I have not seen any violence. I have not seen any graphic content. I have only seen this guy's face as he tells me I'm not doing a good job. <laughs> and the scat team override. Classy. Classy game. Classy. Oh my gosh. I, uh, okay. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to do this one more time. It's like this game was based on you only buy one game for your Sega CD and it's like, too bad, you're stuck now. How much did I pay for this? I hope it wasn't much. So it's gotta be the second that the clock turns. The second that the clock turns. Like, how would you, how would you play this? The Game Grumps played this game and they had to do a move-by-move -move guide. Yeah, I should have watched their playthrough first so I would know how terrible this was going to be. I got I got to be honest. I didn't think this would be good. I did think it would be entertaining and I did think it would be salacious. Sewer Shark. I haven't played that one. Uh... I feel like that's kind of the other infamous FMV game. <laughs> this entire wall just shoves you into hell. Yeah, as far as I can tell, that's what's going on. This is... feel better that the game grumps also did this badly nope. though but you must start doing your job we all have to do our job oh is that not the entryway you help your cousin with that yeah it's about time sorry it didn't dawn. the entryway yeah, dawn on you if you oh this is the dawn. entryway I'm sorry oh now there's nothing for like two minutes so I guess we can watch one of these terrible scenes again. Oh, where's she going? Oh, what's this? This is a special vintage. Oh, Jeffrey, don't be so selfish. Jeffrey. The special vintage. Bag. Which one? You got about a million of them. Back off, bridge face. You just had to be glad I brought you along. The only reason you brought me along is because Mom made you. Shut up! Well, I can tell this is the... More, I, I mean, guess. it's actually kind More, of an I interesting concept to be able to, like, on multiple replays, see different parts of the story, like, depending That's on what room you're in. Like Your charity work is beginning to be much too much. Come. If this game wasn't just enraging me <laughs> with how impossible it is, uh, you know, I, I might enjoy that aspect of it. Oh, but you all know that's my favorite. Hall one. At 3.15. Around. 
See, I can't even enjoy the anim the the videos of them getting flung off of beds and whatnot. Cause you gotta change over so quickly. Like I should not have been able to make that. That's ridiculous. Whoops. Two forty-two. Oh, missed one. <laughs> the footprint this house has to have, you know, to have all these weird pit traps and shit. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this house. I don't know what to say about this plan. I think it's a bad plan. I'm gonna say it, Scat. I think your plan sucks. I think this is a bad plan. That doesn't make any sense. That's right. I'm tired of getting kicked off the team. I don't even want to be on the team. This plan makes no sense. Okay, we're in the living room for the next few. And what's happening in the story? I have no idea what's happening in the story because I'm just trying to catch these stupid... <laughs> Stupid vampires. This game's making me so mad. This house was built by Frank Lloyd Wright's creepy brother. Yeah, I believe it. Okay. This is built by someone. Didn't know how to make a house. just too high when he designed it yeah I, I believe it see what's it what's everyone even doing now where is everyone I have no idea <laughs> darn it I just missed one Okay, the next one's gonna be the hallway downstairs. Let's go and get everything ready. You really get a kick out of this stuff, don't you? Hallway downstairs at 602. No, at... Darn it, I missed it! How was that not it? Was I like a second too late? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's just like 50 dudes. I know. Well, I've captured 23 out of 31. I don't know what the standard is. I don't know what Scat's gonna approve of in terms of how many of these dudes I need to catch. I'm like ready to just let these people be eaten. How is that not it? Okay. It's like I hit, keep hitting it a second. A second too soon. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be a spooky walk. I'm not sure. Okay, we got this. We got this. I believe. <sighs> Why is it not working? Oh wait, I was supposed to change a code in the living room. How would I know to do that? Okay, so that's why I haven't been catching anyone. They're just singing the night trap. Are they just singing the theme song for the game? <laughs> what are the codes? Oh my gosh, now I'm not able to do any captures because I missed a code or something? I don't 
don't know what I don't know what the codes are. This guy doesn't say what the codes are. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, it was your job to protect. Look, it was your job to tell rooms. me what the codes but were. What I've just seen the place is being overrun. Oh my gosh. There's way too many of those suckers. Now, until you figure out how to do your job and do it right, you're dismissed. Breaking contact. Oh my gosh, people, there's this whole other element to the game that, again, I don't know how I would know that this is in here. There's some variety every playthrough that comes in the form of four color code changes. I'll detail this in the timeline, but you'll want to switch the code one trap after you hear the first code change and immediately after all subsequent code changes. It's possible to capture some of the good guys. And this will result in a game over or bad ending if you do. I don't, I like, I genuinely don't. I can't grok this. This is the most confusing thing I have ever, ever encountered. What, but what's the color code changing? All right, I'm going to show you all what I'm looking at here. Um, this is a, a guide that's on Steam. So this is what I was looking at as I was playing, uh, which is a timestamp. So what I was doing is I was looking like at each timestamp, the location, uh, and scrolling through each room. Um, but then I'm supposed to be changing a code? What does this mean? Like, I really... <laughs> I really don't know what the code changing means. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I missed doing that and it just like the game became unplayable. <laughs> the game became unplayable after that. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try, I'm going to try one more time, I'm going to try one more time, and then I swear I'm going to rage quit. I'm going to, I'm going to 100% rage quit, um, if I can't figure out this code. <laughs> I really... But how would I know what codes I'm supposed to have? Oh, there's different layouts. Let's see what these other things are. Oh! A conversation with James Rimley. Timeline. An unreleased prototype. Well, my issue with this game is it's too polished, so, uh... Oh, oh, okay, if I complete a perfect game, I can enjoy all of this content. <laughs> I find that so extremely offensive, and the only word you can say to the manufacturers and the shareholders of the company is shame on you. Shame, shame, shame on you. Gordon, hold it right there. Shame on people that produce that trash. It's just Ooh. my judgment. This is pretty good, actually. I get it all. Mark. Is this like a whole documentary? About two months ago, I saw the video game Night Trap for the first time. It is a sick, disgusting video game, in my judgment. There's the drill. That's the guy with the drill. Yeah, that we is must, the guy with the drill. But... We mustn't catch him or we don't see the no. gratuitous violence. <laughs> it's an effort to trap and kill women. For the first month or so, I would see Tom and I would say, there is the evil man that made Night Trap. And he'd say, there is the evil man that made Night Trap. But it was a joke for a while. Then, then the joke started getting serious until uh, a friend of my family's called me and said, hey, did you know Captain Kangaroo came on TV today and said that Night Trap was a bad game? The danger arises when the subject of the software is of a violent nature. And that's where it got very serious for me, because I love Captain Kangaroo. Well, most of these people are, most of these people yeah, are still on the Senate. Washington. 
Post. Is that true? It was on the front page of the New York Times. It was so new. It was so revolutionary at the time that it first came out that it was ideal fodder for somebody who wanted to use it as um, a political hand grenade. <laughs> Your bullets can't hurt me. See, this is the kind of stuff I wanted to see. See, here's the bananas thing. How did anybody well, we get far enough in this game to see any of this? <laughs> especially Night Trap and several other examples. In my judgment, they've gone too far. My son and I, Tyler, who's 11 now, we went to rent a movie. And um, the gentleman said to me, he says, hey, you know, Dana, um, they took your game off the market. And I said, what, why? He said, well, obviously, there's a bunch of controversy behind it. And I said, oh, really? And that's how I heard. <laughs> it's not violent, you know, in any sense. They don't, it's not violent, it's not gory. It's not anything like that at all. And the object of the game is to save the girls that go in for the slumber party. Way to go, Control. I knew you could do it. Our state of mind um, about creating some horrible, frightening thing. So, you I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> it was really, how many Ogs can we trap in the house? How many Ogs? <laughs> the guy from the New York Times called me and he said, we hear these terrible things are happening. That was like one of the first phone calls I got. That these I don't know what that was. You know, are really up and about them. Like, you see, like, I heard that too. I have no idea what that was. Evil odds. They are evil. You can just tell by the way they're hopping along. That, that's the spookiness. That's the spookiness I promised for this week. The horrible sex and violence scene is in the bathroom. Right here. X marks the spot. This is where Elisa gets it. She is in a nightgown. So I guess this is the scantily clad part. And there's, you know, an og in the shower. I mean, oh, so this is the controversy you scene. You could, you could hear people laughing on the set. because it is. <laughs> I don't see why it would be titillating. I had on a spaghetti strap nightgown. It was, it was cute. It was peach. I think it had a little flowers here. <laughs> the whole sort of reason for having that thing that goes around the neck of the, of the kids that get nailed was to make it something that was sort of so fantasiacal and something so non-replicable that there wouldn't be any chance that anybody could mistake it for reality. Ooh, so scary. A controversial scene. This and is actually the reason why there's ratings on video games now. We prefer self-regulation to government regulation, but make no mistake about it, we will move ahead if you do not. The one good thing that came from Thanks, Night Trap. Is that it created a rating system for titles. I flew to Washington to go to these hearings. In the morning of the hearings, um, they announced to us, they told me, gee, you know, we're really sorry. Thanks so much for coming. We're really sorry. But uh, we decided that there isn't any time to hear your testimony today. Oh, no. At some point in the hearings, <laughs> Dorgan is reading from there. He says, yeah, and it's a shame Mr. Zito couldn't be here to defend this horrible filth that this company is putting in. I said, uh, Senator, uh, I am here, and I'd be happy to talk about it. Uh, you're out of order. The whole store you know, is Man, Rye, you are, like, freaking a, 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 a savant at spotting people in this video. I'm super impressed. <laughs> I mean, unless unless you're attracted to large dark objects that go like this, there's there wasn't. Mm, you don't know my life. I like that hey, freaky actually, walk. Uh -oh. you see where he she just bumped into? Good lord, it's gratuitous. The sex. <laughs> Who are those guys? It just said guys that play a lot of video games. A history nerd. I did not know that. And I think that Night Trap was kind of thrown to the wolves as as bait like here have this one i want to state that night trap will never appear on a nintendo system oh there it obviously, is obviously it would not pass our guidelines you know when all this tv coverage is going on i was on what i'm playing it on i needed the night trap footage <laughs> it was nintendo all the congressional I'm trading cards yeah, well, yeah, if you're if you're in search of any congressional trading cards, <laughs> put them on the Discord. I've had some controversy in my life, and I just found it interesting that 
there was some controversy behind this also. But it's like this dark cloud, you know, that just kind of follows me. <laughs> You know, I have this horrible feeling that 20 years from now, somebody's going to call me and say, Jim, we, we, we want to do an interview, you know? Uh, and I'm going to say, great, you know, is it, is it Wirehead? Is it, is it this new show? And, no, Night Trap, the classic, the great, the great, you know, we want Howard to- Lincoln, Fisticuff is like the Nintendo like historian, I think. I'm pulling this stupid binder out, <laughs> you know, every five years going, yeah, well, we had a lot of fun. Pretty good little mini, mini documentary. See, look at all this bonus content you get. I mean, you know, it would be cool to see <laughs> the things that I have to get a perfect clear to do. Um, you know, like getting the, uh... wait, what was that? I have to unlock production and <laughs> production <laughs> photos by, by getting to certain game scenarios. Yeah, that's super not gonna happen. That is super, super not gonna happen. The documentary was 50 times better than the game. Let's see what survivor mode is. Oh, this is just like an infinite onslaught. Oh gosh. Oh no. Well, I'm... Super not gonna do that. <laughs> I can't even do the normal number of them. Dorgan, a Democrat from North Dakota. Yeah, it is interesting. You know, it's funny too, because it's, uh, you know, it doesn't seem like so long ago. I guess it does, but it's just kind of like, <laughs> looking at the, looking at that footage, it's like, wow, it's such ancient history that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Makes you think. <laughs> See, this is this is really like what this stream has turned into because this was not the salacious and outrageous uh, uh, game I wanted it to be. I didn't I didn't think it would be quite like what uh, you know the 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 uh, uh, the Senate thought, but it's a little <laughs> a little more tame even than that. Oh, I changed the layout to like an old version of it because the version we were on before was like a uh some kind of like upgraded like the modern version for the switch or there, there's also a steam version i think the steam and the switch version are the same okay we're gonna go bedroom then bathroom I do like stepping on the scale and just being like thrown into the void. That one's pretty good. What? It says bedroom at 50. Oh, bathroom at 50. Living room, 107. Fracking North Dakota. See, there's the yeah, there's the different world there. Oh, this one actually says what the rooms are. That's way better. Cause looking at the guide, I'm like, which one is the entryway and which one is the second hallway? See, I think it would be one thing oh. if you could play the game mostly paying attention to the dialogue and occasionally occasionally catching things, but the fact that you fail out if you really mess up at all, um, if you really, you know, let, let a few too many through, which is really, really easy to mess up. This game is so strangely difficult. Um... Then it's like they made this whole thing to not really watch. 
or interact with in any way. What's the matter with you anyway? I don't know. Bored, I guess. Bored. Well, that's gonna change pretty soon, huh? I mean, we're on our own tonight. So? So? You heard him. Much too much. Come, let's visit the girls. Okay, here he comes. Okay, we got him. Hall one downstairs. It's so much better with the labeling. Because I was never quite sure if I was in the right room or not. See, now, now we're going along. We're getting there. Like, how, how, how would you be able to play this? This is just... I guess it really goes to show, like they were saying in that documentary, that, uh... No one actually played the game that was upset about it. <laughs> no one had any idea what was happening in this game. How would you know? <laughs> How would you ever see any of this stuff? Fail out in five minutes every time. sing the song. I don't even know what part we're at in the story. Oh my Bye. Guys, come on. Yeah, Bye. So Bye. Bye. Oh, Bye. I don't know. This 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 UI is so much easier to use. Why did they default to the other UI? I don't understand. Why did you do this night trap? Two is the bedroom. <sighs> then we gotta get right over to the driveway. Then we gotta do the code change. 532 is the bedroom. Then we've got the driveway. Then we've got the entryway. Don't worry, Mom. It's all in the fingers. Good Missed hunting. it. 554 is the living room. Then I have to change the code, but I don't know what that means. Okay. I changed the code. I really don't know. Oh, does it have to be the same? It has to be the same color as that thing, but the other UI, where, where even was that? So that color, the, the two moving colors have to match one another, but I don't even remember seeing those two colors in, in the other, the default UI. I think I think the graphical upgrades they make to this game actually made it completely unplayable. Now I mean it's still pretty unplayable, but uh Oh gosh. That one was a little perturbing. Seven oh five. 727. This is how long is this? Oh my gosh. Yeah, 
It's just so not a rewarding experience to have to um, jump around like this, too, because I just have no idea what's happening in the plot. Like, where'd all those kids go? I don't know. My only thing is focusing on, on catching these guys. I really wanted this game to be bad in a fun way. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad it, I'm glad you can get it. I'm glad you can get it on Switch and Steam. Um, Cause I think it's good that these things are archived and, and you can play them if you want to. Um, but I say at what cost? <laughs> at what cost do you play this game? The cost of your sanity. What's going on? That girl looks exactly like Madeline. Oh, not that again. No, not that again. Come on, Studley, we better change that code. How about orange? Sure. Change code to orange. Okay, how... So if I missed that, if I missed that, I would not be able to keep playing. Oh, I wasn't on orange. Okay, I'll stop complaining. I'll stop complaining. I'll I'll bring a more positive attitude to uh to Night Trap. Where is everyone? Hello. This is Collins. Here goes nothing, Chief. Just no heroics, huh? Count on it. I oh, think he's from the beginning. Ultra number, aren't you? And out. Got 21, or four, 41 out of 45, and it was a process. Mm. Yeah, whoever posted this, uh, this thing on Steam. thrown off the roof is still really funny to me. That one that one stands out. Oh. Where'd he go? Clomp clomp clomp. Where are you going? Scene because I was trying to not fail out of the game. Yeah, succeeding in this game means entirely skipping the plot and watching endless cutscenes of two and black jumpsuits fall into holes. Yep, that's. Did you leave the body box unlocked? No. That's how I would, I would sum up this entire experience. We have another problem. I found a tricord upstairs. Mm -hmm. A what? An auger tricord. Hey, yeah. you guys want some? <clears throat> oh, thanks. Thank you. So I guess the whole 
Whoa! <laughs> that whole scene was going on. Oh gosh, I'm trying to help you. Oh, was she okay? Game over. Oh, the game would have been over if I had not gone to that one. So I think the way you're supposed Tony, to play I'm this game of you. Like to know is you play it a bunch of times, writing down the codes, writing down the time codes. So you're kind of seeing the plot as you just play it like a ton of times. It's like, a, like an old school massacre scene. Yeah, that was the Congress scene. That was the one they were talking about for sure. Big, big problems. What? The Augs are here. All right. I'll go downstairs and reset the access code to purple. <coughs> Whoops. Oh, now what? What was that? I don't know. It came from outside. 1951. There's a checkpoint. Oh. Living room. Fourteen fifteen is a code change. Let's go down to the control room. Maybe Tony has seen the Augs. Gotcha. I'd feel better if we switch the code again to green. We don't want anyone else to get control. Code to green. Got it. Fourteen forty two is hall Things two. It's really weird around here. Keep your eyes oh. open and watch out for the other girls. I'll be right back. What? <laughs> oh wait, I gotta catch them. <laughs> oh my gosh! See, like, who's this kid? Why does he? Why does he have this thing? <laughs> Was the action click thing the so the access code that's I'm just like cycling through those um, but I didn't know well one I didn't know I was supposed to be doing that and I also didn't realize I needed to pay attention to what color it was like who what's this kid's just gone rogue what's his deal Sorry, kid. Leader, this is mine. Come in. Leader, this Sorry, is kid. is really uh it's really something <laughs> i agree incredible i think incredible is the only way to describe it <laughs> Game, to, game over if I had just missed that one. <laughs> but I didn't. I saved them. They're all good. They're all good.
Oh, whoops. Missed that one. Bathroom. Uh-oh, I missed one. 18, oh, that's only, but this is only if I'm trying to hundo key. Just a whole series of them to throw off the thing. We still have one chance. Control, you gotta help us. Please trap that big hog by the back door so we can get out of here. Like, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Don't you worry. I can't stand it. Megan, no. Oh no, Megan. Oh no, you're gonna get taken. Oh no, Megan. <laughs> why did you why did you run? It's not time. Whoops. Control, how could you let that happen? <laughs> Megan is dead. And yes, Megan you saved her. You were responsible for her life and you screwed up. There's a lot going on in this house. Too bad you're not going to be around to see any more of it. Breaking contact. <laughs> Megan is dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was... Oh, okay. So the... <laughs> Apparently, I wasn't supposed to trap at 1907 when it prompted me to trap. I had to wait until 1909, two seconds later, to not get a game over. <laughs> I did. He just... This dude just appears and yells at me. It's like, you know what? If you're so great at night trapping, you come set your own night traps, dude. Um, man, this is, uh, this is something, man. This is something. And then there's multiple endings. Um, man, I gotta be real with you all. I don't think, I don't think I'm ever gonna see any of that 100% content that came with the purchase of Night Trap. I have to be honest with you. I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen for me. I don't think that's going to happen for you all. Um, go, go purchase. Again, I hope I did not spend that much on this game. I bought it a while ago. I think it was on sale just for the novelty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, so far the spooky games are kind of like 0 for 2. <laughs> I haven't had this. See, this is what I get for being like, I'm not going to play all of your, you know, Resident Evil games that people actually like. I'm going to play weird stuff that I find on the back alleys of the internet. Um, this is what happens. Then it's, this is why, <laughs> this is why people aren't, aren't streaming Night Trap on Twitch all the time. Uh, because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really like to put games on blast on my channel, but, uh, I would, I would describe this as mm, unplayable. <laughs> Pretty darn unplayable, uh, unless you're really, really committed to getting all the time stamps. Um, I'm sure if this is something that if you... If you were nostalgic for it... Oh, I wanted to see what the different layouts are. If you were if you were nostalgic for this game, uh, I'm sure it would be really fun to go back and play it. But yeah, that's the thing. It's an incredible history lesson. Uh, my biggest critique, actually, like of this release of the game is... I want to be able to see all of that other kind of like documentary stuff without getting 100% on the game. Um, because yeah, exactly, exactly right. It's culturally significant. It's really interesting to see that footage uh, and making you actually play the game <laughs> to enjoy the content around the game is uh, uh, a little harsh, a little harsh, I think, in terms of, uh, of gatekeeping it. Uh, but yeah, that's... <laughs> so that's Night Trap. It makes me kind of not want to play other FMV games, honestly. I think the genre is just, uh, I think there's a reason, um, we don't see a ton of, of FMV games <laughs> anymore, uh, and probably the limited inter interaction you can have is one of them, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know. I'm gonna... <laughs> Uh, Saturday, I'll stream something, uh, when, when, on, on Halloween, I'll, I'll stream something that is, 
uh, I know will be of slightly better quality. Um, probably, probably Animal Crossing. I'm probably gonna gonna do all the trick or treating events that I've been saving up candy for. Uh, I'm actually really, really excited about that. But I, I can't, people. I can't. <laughs> I can't go on with Night Trap. I'm sorry. I actually, if I hadn't game overed. It looks like there's 25 minutes total of, of like actual like game time if you don't mess up. Um, and I was at about 19. No, I wasn't. I was a little. I was before that, but I was I was far enough along that I thought I might actually make it. But I can't. I can't. I can't bring myself to do it anymore. So yeah, happy sweater ween. Go play something else to make yourself feel better. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> I can't, I can't go on after that. I'll see y'all on Discord, Instagram, Twitter, and on Saturday for my next stream, which will be probably not Final Fantasy VII, probably something specifically for Halloween. But happy, happy Halloween to everybody uh, if I don't, don't chill with you before then. Uh, and have a good night.